Armin Levac, 1045 the team, 1045 the team.com. Uh, Capital Region Royalty on the phone with us right now, Mr. Jimmer for Dad. Jimmer, latest member of the Spurs. What was it like, uh, you know, going over there and, and, and getting your uh, your shot with the Spurs now? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm extremely excited for, for this great opportunity um, to be with a top notch organization like the Spurs. Um, with guys that have won championships and, uh, you know, been there and done that just to be a part of such an organization to see how they operate day in and day out and hopefully be able to be a part of that is something that uh, I'm really excited about. Um, you know, I'm just going to go in with the mentality to, to work as hard as I can and compete every single day and, you know, try to, to uh, earn some minutes. Now, see, just to just because I, I, you know, I almost feel bad. I wanted you to be a Nick so bad. The <laughs> the Spurs have uh, invited you to camp. You you get your shot. You'll be and and I, I assume you'll make it. Um, who, who else was interested? Who else sent invites? And what kind of invites did you get? Um, you know, I had other teams interested. Um, the Spurs were the first team to actually offer, um, and we felt like it was just the best situation for me out of the other teams that were. Um, looking at me at that time, um, so we pulled the trigger as soon, you know as soon as they decided they were going to uh, to offer me. Um, you know, so we were really excited. That was kind of the one team that we really wanted, and it felt like it could be a good opportunity for me just because I feel like I fit in with their system and their team and the way that they try to play basketball over there. So as soon as they made the offer, didn't wait for anybody else. We just decided that this would this would be the right fit. Well, with all the moves they made, of course, I mean that's you. You seem to have made the right decision, air quotes. But I have to ask: Did the Knicks call? Um, I I wasn't really speaking too much with the Knicks. No, no, we kind of. Um, I think they were kind of looking for other needs at that point. Um, you know, so we didn't have too much discussion with them, too, unfortunately. That kills me because when I look at what you know Phil Jackson has done in the past, like I can see you in that Pax and Kerr role like really well. Yeah, no, I think I think I could fit in to that to that role, but um, you know, I, for some reason they they were uh, thinking that they needed other needs, and um, you know, no no harm no foul, you know, maybe one of these days I will be there, but at this point it just wasn't it wasn't right. Jimmer for dead joining Armin Levac, one hundred four five the team one hundred four five the team dot com. What what do you see your role? Have you heard any talk about what your role will be with the Spurs moving forward? You know. Um, I've I've talked to them a little bit. Obviously, they want me to score. I see myself kind of in that role of like that Gary Neal role, that when he was playing uh, with the Spurs, a guy that can play a little bit of one or a little bit of two, but that can really shoot the ball, you know, score for them. Um, if they need a spark off the bench, a guy that can come off and be able to hit shots and make plays and create opportunities um, for myself, but for teammates as well. So I kind of see myself in that type of a role. It, it's got to be kind of kind of fun to go from playing on the Pelicans with the best up and coming player in the game to going to the Spurs, who a lot of people already are, are anointing as champions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Last year was was really great to get to know AD and um, you know all the guys on that team. They had a, a good organization over there, and I had a lot of fun with the team. Um, they're really good guys. They they're they're a group of guys that work hard and want to win. And uh, it's the same type of. Uh, thing over in in uh, san antonio except these guys have have won they have won many multiple championships so uh i'm excited to be a part of this organization um one of the best in in the nba and um you know hopefully things will work out well now so you kind of lucked out jimmer because armin is a diehard dallas mavericks fan so Uh, he would be swearing at you right now for taking this gig (laughs) that's funny yeah (laughs) You know, there's definitely no love lost between those two organizations when they play. <laughs> All right, Jimmer Fredette joins us. Armin Levac, 104.5, the team. Jimmer, the, the second San Antonio call, did you start fitting yourself for a championship ring? <laughs> no, I mean, definitely not. It's such a long season. There's so many variables that could happen um, during during the year. You never know, you know, what's going to happen. Obviously, I, I believe that this team has been there and they've done that and that's the goal that's what you know that's what this organization is all about and um they want to win and they want to win big um you know so i'm excited to to be a part for the ride and um you know we'll, you never know what's going to happen but we're going to work as hard as we possibly can to try to make it happen 
Now, how for for you, one of the purest shooters I've ever seen? How exciting is it to be part of an organization who like the mantra is "give up good shots for great shots"? Like if you if you're open, man, you're going to get your shot to shoot finally in the NBA. Yeah, no, I I think it's a great thing for for me and for everybody that plays with this team. Um, that's the the whole thing is that they they move the ball really well. No one holds it. You know, it's not stuck in anyone's hand. It's a, a ball movement. And it's scoring by committee. And uh, if you have a good shot, and what someone else has a better shot, get them the ball, and they'll do the same um, to you when you're open. And uh, that's the that's the mentality that this team has. Um, but I haven't been a part of it yet. But I'm excited to be. And uh, that's the mentality I love to play with. I, I try to play unselfishly and make the right decision. And uh, the guys in this team do as well. Is it sad that when you said nobody holds the ball, I instantly thought of Carmelo Anthony? <laughs> hey, you know, he, he's such a great scorer. That's, you know, that's what he does. That's what he does. Guys play differently, but, um, you know, he, he can certainly score the basketball. Jimmer Fredette joins us, and uh, Jimmer, I, I, this one is going to be the, probably the toughest question I ask you. Uh, Becky Hammond, female assistant coach. I mean, she is she's proved herself, but video has surfaced of her doing the MC Hammer hammer dance. Are you going to teach her how to Jimmer? <laughs> I haven't seen that yet. I'll have to check that out, and then uh, you know, try to go over some moves and see what uh, what I can do to help her out. But uh, you know, I don't have the best moves in the world too. But I'm I, I'm sure everyone has seen me dance all over the place and I'm not afraid to if I have to. So uh if I need to if I need to show her a little something I will. <laughs> <laughs> in all seriousness, Jimmer, any any thoughts on on the Spurs and and them bringing in a female assistant coach? You know, I think that they, you know, didn't necessarily consider whether she was male or female. They just knew that she was a great basketball mind and someone that could fit in their coaching staff. Um I mean, obviously she did a great job in summer league this year. Um, and they won the championship over there, and she she knows what she's doing. She really can um, you know provide um, great intelligence uh, to the Spurs Spurs organization. I believe that that's why they they brought her in because she's a great basketball mind, and that um, you know she's a, a very very good coach. So I'm excited to be able to work with her. Awesome says a lot for the NBA. You know where you guys are at as as a league that you're now there's two female assistant coach in the NBA. Yeah, no, it's 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 amazing. It really is. It's great. It's great to see that we're expanding and um, you know making this more of a, a global and you know every every gender and every everybody's involved and uh, you know they're trying to expand as much as they can. Jimmer Fredad joins us, and of course, uh, looking forward to to you and the San Antonio Spurs. I mean, I actually have to root for the Spurs this year. That's going to be a tough one for me dealing with Armin. <laughs> but uh, best of luck, and when you're back in town, let us know, and uh, maybe we go out and grab a bite and uh, do a quick interview. Great. Sounds good, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.